Hey guys, Mr. Cheese Gaming here, and welcome back to more of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. Last time, we fought the Windstraight family and continued through Route 1... 111, I believe? I can't believe I already forgot. Yep, 111, so technically I didn't forget. And we actually come across a desert that we can't reach, however... We've been lucky enough, or unlucky enough, to see a tower that makes a rare appearance there. Unfortunately, we can't do anything about that anyways, because we can't get into the desert quite yet. Anyways, we're gonna continue on to take one step. Nice! Thanks for the information, Amy. Anyways, you can avoid these trainers, or you can go around the grass in order to avoid them. I'm just going to head and battle them. Before I do, let me go over the Pokemon that you can find here. There's actually only two new Pokemon you can find. First up is Numel, which is a fire ground type, which is actually a very unique type. It and its evolved form Camerop, however, are very slow and it is very weak to water attacks. However, it learns some powerful moves, so otherwise, it's, so aside from its speed stat, it's actually a pretty good Pokemon. The other Pokemon you can find here is Machop. It is a very bulky physical attacker that's not very fast. It's not that different when it evolves to, to Machoke and you can trade it into Ma and you can trade Machoke to have it evolve into Machamp. There's really not much more when it comes to the Machop family, aside that it's Really bulky physical attacker with very low speed. Really, I prefer my physical attackers to have plenty of speed. That way they can get the punch in and not have to worry about any weaknesses. I'm strong. I won't cry if I lose. What is it with them... What is it with this game and always referencing crying? Why does it always have to reference the excretion of salt water from the eyeball? Well, actually, the tear duct, which is right next to the eyeball, but you know. Nature power, that's actually a very interesting move. It's actually based, it actually turns into a different move depending on what area you live in, well, what area this battle is taking place. Not the area you live in, what is this, the 3DS with location tracking capabilities? Um, I actually would like to get a new 3DS once it comes out in the States. So far, as far as I'm concerned, it only exists in the United States, at, not the United States, Japan and Australia, but we should have it in the United States at some point. And that picnicker over there is spinning around in a set pattern, making her very easy to avoid. Pathetic. Ah, whatever, I'll go ahead and battle her anyways. Simply because this will be a very short part otherwise. When you're around on a picnic, why don't you simply have to sing? Come on, sing with me! Sing with me! Sing with me or I'll kill you! So yeah, this is gonna be a pretty short video that follows up from a very long video. It's kind of funny, I just but yeah, you, know, you kind of have to expect that from my videos sometimes. So, um, let me tell you more about my Christmas break. What happened is that I decided to take my Wii U console and just play it at my grandparents' place. And I even brought in a few Wii U games and I figured, okay, I can hook it up to my sister's television. However, we actually not didn't get around to doing that because of how busy the Christmas holiday is. What's ironic is that at my parents' place, my parents actually do not have a television, so... 
I got a whole bunch of Wii U games that I can't even play! Thankfully I do have this PC and I also have my 3DS, but the only game I have for my brought for my 3DS was Smash Brothers and Pokemon Omega Ruby. Which I guess isn't too bad because those are the games I find myself playing more often these days. That and Bayonetta. And yes, I actually find myself playing Bayonetta 1 more than Bayonetta 2, even though I have to agree with everyone that Bayonetta 2 is the better of the two games. Mount Chimney Cable Car, a short walk away. Well, if you go up there, you actually find some suspicious characters. Hey man, is our leader really going to awaken that thing? Sounds like it, yeah, but I've heard that we need a meteorite to do it. Oh, I get it now. That's why the rest of the crew went out to follow Bar. You got it, and until they come back, we're not to let anyone pass, right? Interesting! It seems like we got a second criminal group. Which, best to assume, this is the first time we get to see Team Magma in this game. If you were playing... Pokemon Ruby, all the Team Aqua members would also be replaced by Magna Grunts. However, if you're playing Sapphire, these guys, these would be Pokemon, uh, not Pokemon, these would be Team Aqua members. So yeah, but in this game, they're kind of mixed. So now we got Team Magma and Team Aqua. Finally, we have got to see Team Magma. I'm handy in the tree so you can find me. About how about we have a battle, you and me? Ha ha ha! Now that's Waluigi. Wah ha ha! Now that's Wario. And sorry for the silence because I had to take a drink. Um, luckily I actually. Actually, I tried something new. I tried. I'm actually trying Diet Serum Mist instead of regular Sprite. Usually, I would just take regular Serum Mist, but hey, gotta find some way to lose all this fat. Well, actually, I don't call myself fat. I'm just very mildly obese. And. Actually, I'm probably not even obese anymore. I don't know, I should actually weigh myself more often. Did I really run out of so many interesting things to say that I'm now talking about my weight? Oh well, I guess that's interesting. What's even more interesting is that item I can't get. My legs are solid from pounding up and down the mountains. I'm not gonna buckle easily, friend. Yeah, but now it's difficult for you to sit down. It's interesting how your body actually does build up fat just by sitting around. Which is actually a good idea to get up and Rock around every hour for just for five minutes. However, my, that's kind of nullified for me since I get up and walk around every half hour, anyways, for about five minutes. Maybe I should start using Middle Claw of these guys. It seems to do more damage, anyways. Although that makes sense because normal type moves are aren't very effective, and this is super effective. And you know what? I'll switch up. Uh, ooh, Lee got an item. Actually, I probably said that before and forgot to take that item off Lee. Actually, off-screen, Lee got himself a 
King's Rock, which would have been great in my playthrough of Pokemon Crystal. Unfortunately, Pokemon abilities, little less pickup, doesn't even exist in Gen 2. Trying to find bandages, accidentally grab a cell phone and re said, oh, uh, what the heck, I'll register you anyways. And you know what, yeah, I'll put air on at the bottom. And I should really take these items as well. And Super Potion. Alright, actually I should... A uh, Magikarp. Train up a Magikarp! That would be a good strategy if you're actually training it up to be a Gyarados. Otherwise, who cares? Besides, I can just get an Electrite and take out your Gyarados in just one hit. Because Gyarados is ridiculously weak to electric type moves. Due to being it the flying type, even though that it has been admitted by Nintendo that it was originally going to be a dragon type, but they changed it so it doesn't have any weaknesses. Yet ironically, Sableye doesn't have any weaknesses and they kept that as a dark ghost type. Irony. But anyways, yeah, you can get this item, but it's not gonna be till much, much, much later. But anyways, um, even though this is a short route, we did cover finding a lot of interesting things. Like, there's Team Magma, and... Well, actually, yeah, Team Magma says interesting things, like... Apparently, they're awakening something with a meteorite that they're going to get from a town called Fallabar, which actually isn't that far away. However, since the um, cable car is not available to get up onto Mount Chimney, we're going to have to go underneath through Fiery Path. So, next time on Let's Play Pokemon, Emerald, we're gonna finally go through Fiery Path and hop up on the other side and maybe we'll reach Foul Bar on the way through. Nice Pokemon sound effect. That's what I like about this game as well. Make the, you can actually hear the cries of Pokemon at random points, but anyways. Forget about that and I'll see you guys next time when we take on Fiery Path. I'll see you guys then.